We are back with another creating your family framework video. This one uh, in spawn. This time we're going to be doing the HTML one more time. Um, and yeah, so we're going to start off with our spawn menu. So this is how the spawn is going to look. So when you load in, this is how uh, you're going to be able to select your spawn. And we're going to add a uh, little waypoints here that you can click and uh, select basically. So first things first. In HTML, we're going to need to have a new file, which is going to be index.html. Shocker, I know. Uh, we'll, we will set a doc type here as HTML. Uh, and then we're going to do HTML. Um, HTML, just like this. And now we are going to do our head script so add a couple spaces in here we will do a head inside the head we're going to have a meta uh, air set equals utf dash eight uh, and then we're going to have a few things in here which is going to be a meta name equals viewport contents equals with equals device dash with and then we got to set an initial scale equal to 1.0 uh, this is not supposed to have that remove that just like that all right now we're going to do a link here so a link link a uh, style sheet so we're going to have a style sheet here uh, which is going to have an h ref of style dot CSS and we're gonna have a couple of this we're gonna have the scripts for jQuery and font awesome so to get these you could either oops, I'm just gonna copy and paste these these are just scripts uh, basically from the same one so we can go into base if you have the base with you and you could scroll all the way up copy uh, the jQuery one if you want um, and then we just have another jQuery and then a font awesome that we're going to use for icons. So first things first, inside, after the head, we're going to have a div here. Whoops. So div class. Uh, in this class, let's call it spawn background. Uh, and then we're going to have a div div class of map inside map we're gonna have a another div class uh, this time it's gonna be spawn dash markers okay so after we have all this we're gonna do a few things here So in here, we're going to set eyes. So let me just, I'm going to add a couple more spacing so it's a little easier to read. So we're going to have an eye class. Uh, and this is where Font, Font Awesome is going to end up getting used. Uh, so it's going to be FA space FA dash map dash marker space marker BTN. Oops. Oops my bad. BTN, uh, which is going to be marker button. And then where the marker is, it's going to be, this is one for an example, is going to be the airport. Um, after that, we're going to set an ID and it's going to be airport. I know, very crazy, very crazy. Now we're going to have a couple more things in here. We're going to have a data dash position. Oops, position. Make sure I spelled that right. 
uh, it's going to be set to top because we want it on the top. And then we're going to have a data dash pool set. Uh, so the tooltip is going to be what it says. So when you hover over it, the tooltip is going to get displayed and it's going to say airport. Crazy how that one works. And then we're going to add a data dash location. Uh, very, very simple. We're going to put a airport as we did in the basically the last thing. So we have all these spawns. So these are that's the data dash location right here. Is you want to name these the exact same. And then lastly, we're going to have data dash info. Uh, after info, it's going to be Los Santos. Uh, I could do international airport, but let's just be real. It's just fucking, it's, it's literally an airport, okay? And then that is going to be the one I class. Inside of the I class now, we're going to do a span. So we're going to have a span class of tooltip, tip text. Uh, and this is going to be the text that's within your tooltip. So we'll put Los Santos Airport. And then that is going to be done. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing basically for the next four spawns. So I'm going to add a couple of spaces in between to differentiate these. So instead of airport, um, we're going to have harmony. So H A R M O N Y and data.info. We could do harmony repairs. And same thing with here, harmony repairs. Um, do, 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 do. And the next one is going to be dream. So I have it set to here. Uh, um, do, do, do. And data dash info right here. Dream. Yeah. Isn't it a motel? It's a motel, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a motel. Um, after the dream motel, we are going to do bus. Uh, Los Santos bus station. Yeah, that works. Let's do that. Let's do Los Santos bus station. And then lastly, we are obviously going to have pink, which is going to be the pink cage. So copy this. And pink cage motels. Okay. Now that is basically done. So I'm going to watch. So as soon as we open with live server, let's see if it's going to open up for us. Yeah. You're going to see. Uh, that is grabbing font aw font awesome here, which is this little icon that we see uh, right there. I'll zoom in. So it's this little icon we see right here, and then uh, this text right by is your data dash or not your data dash info. It's your tooltip text. So once we get into our oops, our CSS, it's going to be looking a lot different here. But after here, we're going to do a div class of spawn dash box. So we're going to have a spawn box, obviously that you're going to have to click to be able to spawn into one of these locations. Um, in here, we're going to do a class div class again of box detail. Uh, box details is basically going to exactly grab which box you're wanting to go to here. So uh, it'll grab the details of the box and basically almost display it. And then we're going to do a div class. Um, oops, not div class, my bad. A span. Span class of spawn dash name. And this is going to basically get the name of the spawn. So when you click on your spawn box, you're going to, whichever one you're clicking on here, it's going to tell you the spawn name. So it will tell you, for an example, it will tell you um, this data.info, pink cage motels, Los Santos bus station, and so on. Next is going to be a div class 
And this one is going to be spawn dash buttons. I guess spawn button. Not buttons, really. And in here, we're going to do a button class. Button class equals spawn dash btn for button. Green spawn btn. btn. So in here, we're going to do this spawn button. And now we're going to basically use the on click function. So on click, we're going to do spawn and then this is where you're going to be spawning. And now we're inside of here. We're going to do an I class, I class of FAS, FA dash map dot marker or marked, my bad. Dot L dot alt and close that off right like there. And inside of the I, or right after the end I, we're gonna do spawn now. Um and that's gonna be in the button. So the button is gonna be the one that says spawn now. Basically is what I'm saying. So we could open up, and now you see that there is a button here that says spawn now. And I just blinded everyone by doing that, but that's perfectly fine. So when you select, uh, basically, this is, this button is going to most likely be hidden after I 100% configure it. So the idea behind it is you're going to be able to click. You're going to be able to click one of these, and then the button for spawn now will pop up. Otherwise... Let's be real, if you just click spawn now and it's nothing selected, uh, that's that's a separate issue. And lastly, we're going to add the bottom ending of the scripts here, which I forgot actually that... We probably should add a body here. So let me select all this real quick, move it up one, and then we will do a body class, body class right here and then close it off right here and then we're going to have our jquery once again at the end of this right before the body so it's our script for our javascript and then uh it's going to go into our scripts.js as well so after html we're going to have scripts.js i've been, i'm going trying to go more in depth in these uh so people including me understand it a lot more uh but yeah this is going to be html Next is going to be the JavaScript and possibly the CSS if I can get it all in one video. I'm hoping I can, but you never know. But leave a comment, like, sub, hop in the Discord. I'm there.